Welcome to Dark Horse Workshop, everyone, and my no-nonsense review of the Corali Falcon 2 22-watt Pro. The original non-pro version of this laser is the first laser that I started using regularly in my shop because it could cut all the heavy leather that I use when I build armor. Now, the 22-watt was what I would consider the bare minimum for the weight of leather that I'm doing, which is like 14, 15 ounces, which is rather, rather thick. This is just the original one beefed up. Obviously, the first one did everything I needed it to do. If you're using a 40 watt, it's gonna be faster and less charring, but the 22 watt was great for what I needed, and that's why it started getting into regular rotation. Right off the top, this laser is upgradable, so if you buy the 22 watt version, you can upgrade it to the 40. That is awesome. My favorite things about this laser are the camera, it's enclosed, and the bed size. Because I'm doing a lot of armor, I want a larger bed size. I think it's 16 and a half by 15.75, 400 mil by 415 mil. I'm probably off by a little bit, but it's pretty good. It's a good, a good size. Now, Creality does offer a plastic hood that you can put over their non-enclosed lasers. It does the job, but obviously it's not going to do the job quite as well as something like this. Not to mention, this actually looks like a professional piece of equipment. The plastic hood, a little lackluster, but still does the job if that's something you're interested in. I am not a fine details person and I'm not going to start pretending to be. So for me, the main keys to this are that, it, first of all, it's from Creality, which is a trusted brand. It's enclosed, has a camera, has a large bed size. And on top of all of that, if you, the 22 watt is not powerful enough for you, you could get the 40 watt. Easy upgrade. One thing that some people may not mention about this laser is compared to something like the We Create Vision, it has, well, it has less parts. So less things that could go wrong. I love the We Create Vision, but I've already had problems with it. This is a mainstay because of its reliability in my shop. There aren't that many cons for me, more nitpicky things. Obviously right away, it's gonna be more expensive than getting the non-enclosed version with a plastic hood. So if price is an issue, you might want to think about the non-enclosed 22 or 40 watt versions of the Creality Falcon 2. As far as the cons go, one thing that is really strange is that you need two USB-C cables to operate this machine fully. One for the camera, one for the laser itself, which seems dumb. Setting up a camera in Lightburn is a little strange. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Lightburn camera since the first camera I ever used was the WeCreate Vision. Yes, I'm comparing this to the WeCreate Vision again. Uh, and that camera is really clean, crisp, and clear. This one does the job, but even setting it up is annoying. Funny enough, one of the highlights of my review of the non-enclosed version of this laser was that when I got it, it was all put together. It was the first laser that I ever got that was almost completely put together. This is not that laser. I'm sure that my ability to read instructions was probably subpar, but I think it took me an hour and a half to put this together, which seems excessive, and it was annoying. Uh, the We Create Vision came all assembled, which was awesome, um, but again, the We Create Vision also having some problems. So there's that. And the other thing is silly, but because the original was on feet and not enclosed, I could put it on top of a full side of leather if I wanted to and just run the laser. This you'd have to pull out all the slats and move a bunch of stuff around and it would be a giant pain in the butt. But I didn't get this to do that, so I'm not really worried about it. But it is something that I was like, oh yeah, I miss being able to do that. Whatever, you, it's a good trade-off still, but just something I wanted to mention. As a leather crafter, the original version of this laser had me start creating all of my patterns in SVG format for lasers so I can cut out all my patterns and engrave them with designs. I obviously use it mainly for that. I do a little bit of wood, a little bit of plastic, and some other material. Uh, if this is something that interests you, you can check out my affiliate link in the description of this video. I do get a little kickback from that, and you help me do what I do. Just a reminder, you can pick up medieval fantasy and Viking-inspired leathercraft patterns and art on my website, or on my Patreon month to month. You can also check out the Dark Horse Workshop Discord server. We've gotten about 500 new people in the last two months. There are contests, free pattern giveaways, all sorts of cool crafters and creators. So come check that out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go hit the bell, the share, a like, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do. Do you, do you work, laser?